What's up everyone, Versus Z, and I'm going to be continuing the Destas build. Um, before this video, actually, there was a, I was recording myself painting these as part of the, uh, the next Lex build video, but then the battery died again, so we got all messed up, so I went ahead and just did that, so I just wanted to show you guys what had happened before, um, before I continue on. But yeah, I went ahead and did this. And yeah, I did a little bit more pre painting. But today we're going to be working on um, the escape pod, which I've already done a few details on. I told you guys that I was going to do that there, metallic red, and there it is. I think it looks real nice. Then there's the chrome right there in between. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some clear orange and get a super fine tip paintbrush, get in there and get a I'll get a layer of or clear orange right there on the um, chrome silver there hopefully I'm gonna get this certain effect I can't explain the effect so it's kind of this metallic um, orange kind of look I don't know hopefully it goes hopefully it goes all good and then we'll just you know we'll see what, how it goes from there so what I've done before um, was I got a couple of drops of thinner dropped it in there, shook it up, and then the consistency is a little bit thinner, so I'm hoping I have to go ahead and like screw the brush up, so yeah. It's going to take a while. Also, I'm going to show you guys a little um, tip on pegs, a little trick if you want to, you know, just in case remove a part, break it apart, and do it again. So actually, let me just go ahead and do that right now. So what you want to do is... Hopefully you guys can make this out. Well, okay, seems to be only zooming into things out so far. Okay, so you kind of see that the peg is a little bit angled. So that's how you have to go about um, things if you want to get to removing parts a little easier. Well, basically what you want to do is you take a nipper and cut at an angle. Cut the peg, the male peg, at an angle. Not too much though. Just just barely enough. Things are flying around. And I decided to do on this because there's so many like pegs and male pegs and female pegs um appropriately appropriately and unappropriately named. Inappropriately named. You cut them at an angle so that when you remove them, they just basically slide out easier. So let's let's just go ahead and put this on. The one thing that's going to bother me is the placement of the uh, poly caps. So not only will it remove easier, but it'll also go on easier. There you go. It's part of the escape pod. By the way, guys, um, new poll is up. Uh, six selections once again. New poll is up. Go check out my blogger. Um, there's yeah, like I said, there's new um, choices up there. The one choice though that I asked you guys try not to pick so much of is high new master grade high new. Um, I kind of put it in there accidentally uh, as a filler, and so far it's got the most votes, but it's really expensive at trying to make on so. Yeah, try not to vote for a high new, but if you must, go ahead. Other other choices, if you have to know, are Sword Impulse, Master Grade, Master Grade Strike Noir, Master Grade Crossbone Verka. There's also, um, let's see what else is in there. Yeah, high new Shin Musha, as well, and got the other choice well anyway you guys just go please check it out check out the poll please vote um, it is the backup poll you know just in case I don't find unicorn or strike freedom the two that won the um, or the three third one being uh, Sinanju um, being the top but I have a different way of getting Sinanju before Fandomicon but I'm getting it regardless so in case I don't get either Unicorn or Master Grade Strike Freedom, 
then I'll have to resort to getting, you know, one of the others. I sent, oh yeah, and God Gundam, Burning Gundam, whatever, he's the other choice, so. You guys just go ahead, check out the poll, please vote, and you have a lot of days coming. I actually set the poll so that the last day is the day before PanamaCon. So just go ahead and please vote. And also, once again, our um, our Zeta Boards place is getting pretty active. Thanks a lot, you guys, for joining. Uh, I'm sure we're I'm sure we're gonna take that chance to visit, op take the chances, take the opportunities to just have fun. Um, there's a lot of gay jokes going around right now. Thanks to Fubaru. So Fik, you did a hilarious job of doing an unboxing video of a McDonald's Big Mac. And dude, that made me so hungry. But anyway. Yeah, I wonder if you guys are paying attention to what I was saying or paying attention to my painting. But anyway, so far so good, yeah? Yeah, I'm liking it, I know. <laughs> so it was actually a good idea for me to thin the uh, the paint, like get some droplet, get a droplet, like, um, where'd it go? Like this? Get in the thinner? Or the thinner? Oh. Get, the, get the thinner, get like, like an eighth of this droplet and drop it in there and mix it around. Drop it in the, in there and just mix it around. And you'll have uh, a more consistent paint of orange. So that's yet another thing you guys find out about how I roll. Okay, I was I was expecting what's going on here. Um, so there are actually parts where I kind of smudged outside, but that can easily be removed by either thinner or getting the hobby knife. So now I'm just gonna have to clean this brush up ASAP. And you just do that by using thinner. But you don't want to mix the brush in there because uh, that's what I did with my last um, my last case of thinner. But anyway, I'm going to let that dry. But for now, let's go ahead and finish this thing. So next is this little piece. I believe I'm doing it wrong. Or no, I'm doing it right. There was something else I was going to say to you guys, and now I can't remember it. This is great. I hate when I forget things I'm supposed to tell you guys. Um, oh. Uh, it's another update, I guess. Small update. I just got a Tyrion ground type. High grade. And I didn't do an unboxing video or anything like that because I just, I don't know. You guys have seen it before. But there is a plan I'm doing on that. It's another test. So it's going to be a guinea pig. But... If the test goes all well, then my guinea pig would be probably one of my prized possessions, actually. So, I'm just hoping it goes all well with that Tyrion. Anyway, I don't really have a question, like, you know, the super, super social questions that I usually have for you guys today, but, hey, am I missing something? I think I am, I think I'm, oh, I am missing something. Okay. Yeah, I don't have any super special questions for you guys today, but well, I guess I should say that later. But for um, these two pegs here, or these two pieces, they're going to go into there, kind of stick out this way, kind of like that. But I can't put it in there because I'm letting some of the paint dry, so I guess this part's done for now. You can just go ahead and take the back of this, or take the back of the Gadessa, and peg it in. Hopefully it goes all well. And there you go. That's sexy. Nice. I have to say, I am loving this kit. But I, like I said before, I think I'm in love more with the upper portion of this kit rather than the bottom portion. The legs are just kind of weird. But anyway, that's it. Let me cut. I'll get some stuff ready. Next part, we'll be doing the, the waist and hips. That's it. Hope you guys enjoyed some of the tips. Um, anything else you want me to show you, um, then just let me know. Next, I'll be reviewing two figures that I just got. 
I'll be reviewing them tonight. They're not Gundam, they're not anything related to Bandai at all, nor anime. Um, I'll give you just a slight hint. Yeah, they're two bad boy figures. Some of you who were on Gundam Eclipse the other day know who they are, so it's, it's not really a big surprise. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll be setting up some more later on. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Once again, peace.